Domo is a horror manga written and illustrated by the great Katsuhiro Otomo in 1980. It consists of six chapters and compiled into one volume. I talked in depth about Katsuhiro Otomo on my first ever video, the Akira anime and manga review, and I don't know what to say more about this legend. He created Akira, Steam Boy, written Rojin Z, directed segments in Neo Tokyo, Robot Carnival and Memories, and the list goes on. Domo is one of the early successes of his remarkable career, and it is the precursor to many of his future projects such as Akira. So the entire story takes place in a housing complex, where mysterious deaths have been occurring for three years, and they consist of accidental deaths, suicides, and some for unknown reasons. The plot starts with one of the kills, which is a suicide, and we have the investigation team that consists of Mr. Yamagawa, Mr. Takayama, Mr. Okamura, and others trying to figure out what is going on because they can't dismiss the events of that complex as mysterious or coincidences anymore. As the story goes on, you get to know the people who live there, from children to the elderly through the investigations, and the horrors that awaits everybody as the truth slowly unfolds. That is the best summary I could do that does not spoil anything, as this is a mystery after all, and knowing almost nothing about it enhances the suspense of the story. What can I say about this manga? The word creepy is the perfect way to describe it, and creepy is always beautiful to me. It's like Mr. Otomo took the idea of a haunted house and made it into a big complex in a way. Everyone who lives there is off, a crazy lady, a man-child, abusive fathers, you have it all. And putting a series of grisly deaths in there made the entire setting filled with an eerie atmosphere. I love it. Every death has the perfect build-up, and the payoff is always disturbing, gory, and shocking. And it all leads to an Akira level of destruction by the end, and it goes back to its subtle, creepy tone for the finale. It's a roller coaster of horror done very well. The story gave the reader a lot of revelations but kept the most important ones mysterious, and it ends this way, which maintained that suspense until the very last page. You see the detectives are trying to figure out what is going on and to make sense out of a supernatural situation, and every time they think they solve the puzzle, they are back from the beginning. It gave me that feeling of not messing with things that are beyond the human understanding, and the idea of knocking on the door of the supernatural and asking for an explanation which ends horribly with no answers, being puzzled and afraid. These are the emotions that arose within me while I was reading this manga. It is Katsuhiro Otomo, so three things are guaranteed to be perfect. First is the character designs. The realistic touch he gives always add to the realism of a not so realistic story. The facial expressions of surprise and fear are on point as I always felt the same whenever a character feels this way. It establishes a connection with the reader as with all the works of Mr. Otomo. Second is the setting. Like Akira, the environment is an essential component of the story. So Mr. Otomo goes all out with the atmosphere. The housing complex at night really sucks you in as you sense that evil is lurking around. Even during the day, that place doesn't look safe or normal. Everything feels claustrophobic in a very spacious area. The apartments, on the other hand, are like the opposite. They feel big with so many things in there accompanied with impressive attention to detail that made a tiny place look vast and significant. And each apartment represents the character that lives there. Their apartments told us their personalities. Last but not least, we have the gore. And oh, it's so beautiful, it made me hungry. Although not a lot is present, what is there is violent, rough, and always takes me by surprise. I never expected any of those scenes to be that shockingly brutal. They were very exhilarating to watch. When I finished reading the manga, I realized that the scariest place is the playground, a place where no one would ever think that it is, but Mr. Otomo managed to make it so along with the kids of that complex. Brilliant! 
The horror and mystery elements are balanced to deliver a compelling read to finish in one sitting. And Mr. Otomo did what he does best, and that is telling the story through his visuals without the need for a consistent explanation of things. And that, ironically, explained the story's main message for me, and that is the fear of the unknown.